Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this week's episode, we are camped right on the beautiful shores of Table Rock Lake in southwestern Missouri. We're also only about 15 miles from the resort town of Branson. So while we recreate around the lake this week, we're also gonna take a little trip into Branson and show you a few of the key things to see and do around that city. So stay tuned. So I've got to share with you folks, this week's episode of Grand Adventure is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. First of all, we needed a break. We've been moving every single weekend since we hit the road in Utah in the middle of May. We found this place to be so lovely that we actually booked on a second week. That way, instead of moving on the weekend, we could just relax, sit in, soak up the sun, soak up the lake, and take a breather, which frankly, we really desperately needed. Another thing, as you'll see in this episode, Branson is largely shows and amusement rides and things of that nature that quite frankly, really don't interest us a lot. But we will take you in there. We're gonna show you around Branson and show you what it's all about. But instead of focusing on historical aspects or how the town came to be or things of that nature, this episode is going to be a little bit different. Now we are staying right here in the water's edge at Table Rock Lake. That is the name of the campground that's operated by the Port of Kimberling in Kimberling City, Missouri. As I said, about 15 miles west of Branson. Normally, full hookup sites here cost $40 per night. However, if you are a member of Passport America, as we are, it drops it to $20 per night. That's another reason we decided to spend our second week breather here because quite frankly, what a deal for a beautiful lakeside location like this. If I'm counting correctly, with 119 sites spread out over three lakeside peninsulas, Water's Edge is the largest campground on Table Rock Lake. Amenities include a campers only swimming area that's mere steps from our site, a boat ramp for campers only, a fish weigh-in site, courtesy docks, a full service marina, boat and personal watercraft rentals, free Wi-Fi that's of questionable utility, playgrounds, fire rings, restrooms and showers, and volleyball, pickleball, basketball and tennis courts, along with a full service hotel. Campsites are full hookup, partial hookup or primitive, and tent specific sites are available as well. The staff are all pretty special too. From Julie at the front desk who took our reservation over the phone, to Mick and John on the grounds. We couldn't be more pleased with our stay at Water's Edge.
Now, this is why we stayed on for a second week at Table Rock Lake. With air temperatures in the 90s and water temps in the upper 80s, we're spending a refreshing weekend lazily floating on a beautiful Ozark Mountain Lake, just 30 yards from our campsite. With nearly 750 miles of shoreline at Normal Pool, Table Rock is a massive lake that borders the city of Branson. The lake is impounded by Table Rock Dam, constructed from 1954 to 1958 on the White River by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to provide for flood control in areas downstream, including the city of Branson. Branson has long been a popular destination for vacationers from Missouri and around the country. The collection of 50 entertainment theaters and the variety of amusements along Country Boulevard, including Dolly Parton Stampede, has increased the southwestern Missouri town's popularity as a tourist destination. Branson Landing opened in 2006 on the Lake Tanicoma waterfront adjacent to the historic downtown Branson, with Bass Pro Shops and Belk as anchors of an outdoor shopping mall of stores, restaurants, and entertainment venues. It also features a scenic boardwalk along the lakefront with the Branson Landing Fountains at the heart of the property. Branson Landing hosts regular free summer concerts, as they're doing tonight in a festive atmosphere.
Bass Pro Shops owner Johnny Morris spared no expense in developing his ostentatious Top of the Rock in the adjacent Big Cedar Lodge on the southwestern side of Table Rock Lake. We're spending some time exploring the facility with Grand Adventurers Vicky and Rod, who you'll find on Instagram as RV Quest for Adventure. Top of the Rock is billed as an Ozark Heritage Preserve, and in addition to shops, restaurants, and a natural history museum, the facility's marquee attraction is a 2.5 mile golf cart tour through the property's caves, rock formations, and waterfalls. None of us though felt that it justified spending $140 on four tickets to the golf cart tour. Instead, we're simply exploring this amazing facility and drinking in the fabulous views of Table Rock Lake below. Top of the Rock includes a spectacularly lush and finely manicured nine hole par three golf course designed by Jack Nicklaus. This folks though, is just the driving range. Arnie's barn was relocated from Arnold Palmer's backyard in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. The 150 year old structure is complete with historic photos and memorabilia from Palmer's career achievements. You gain access to the Top of the Rocks Chapel through the End of the Trail All-American Wine Cellar, which in addition to a full wine bar, offers a luxurious whiskey room and a cigar humidor. Adjacent to Top of the Rock, Morris founded Big Cedar Lodge as a fishing resort more than 30 years ago and has continued to develop the area with outdoor related amenities. The 50,000 square foot Fun Mountain at Big Cedar Lodge houses a full arcade, bumper cars, underwater themed bowling, laser tag, a golf simulator, go-kart track, and an elaborate ropes course.
After touring the plush Top of the Rock and Big Cedar Lodge, we can't think of a better way to unwind after a day of work than getting the kayak out on the lake for a simple, uncomplicated paddle right from our campground. We had a spectacular thunderstorm roll through the area during the wee hours overnight. One particularly close lightning strike momentarily knocked out our power, and Patricia said that she saw sparks come from the site's power pedestal. Campground staff told us they replaced the circuit breakers on numerous pedestals this morning. As we're primarily staying in campgrounds for the first time on our American Heartland Tour 2020, when plugging into campground power, we're shocked to see how few folks are using a power management system, which is just an elaborate surge protector. Back at Marion County Park in Tennessee a few weeks ago, our post was wired with reverse polarity. 
Our surge guard surge protector saved us from potentially expensive damage to our trailer then, and it saved us again last night. We know they're not cheap, but they're cheap insurance. The male plug on our trailer's shore power cable was a casualty from last night's storm, and we've gone ahead and proactively replaced the surge protector as it now continues to damage male plugs. And we don't have the time on the road this summer to go without protection while working with surge guard to warranty our unit. We have no business relationship whatsoever with Southwire, manufacturers of the Surge Guard brand, other than being a paying customer. But we love its easy to read LCD display that tells us in plain English precisely what's going on with the power grid. No need to decode blinking red lights or obtuse fault codes. We've included our surge protector in other items that we use in our RV travels and personally recommend to our viewers in our Grand Adventure Shop on Amazon. If you'd like to take a look, We'll put a link in the video description down below. So we sincerely hope that you've enjoyed visiting Table Rock Lake in southwestern Missouri and the city of Branson with us. It's extremely important to us that if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Now, while you're down there, also down below, you'll find the comments section where we'd love to hear from you after each and every episode. Now, we are taking our American Heartland Tour 2020 next week to the state of Illinois. So if you are not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time to go smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. That way, you won't miss a single episode, which we air every Wednesday evening. And we would be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week from Illinois, please remember, Life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.